you only have 100% responsibility for yourself and your actions, but you absolutely have more than 0% responsibility for other people and your community. About this somewhat controversial take on the world. So let's get at it. I'm Robert Johnson. Thank you for stopping by the Legacy Gentleman channel. Because I'm talking about responsibility, I am going to start with a definition of responsibility. It is a state of being accountable for something within your power or control. Now look, I'm assuming that you're an adult, and if you claim to be grown, all blame starts and stops with you. You're responsible for every aspect of your life. Yes, you might have had terrible parents who barely provided for you in your childhood and taught you a bunch of lessons that would hinder you the rest of your life. So it was you who became an adult and, I don't know, ran up credit card debt, or had babies you couldn't afford, or even sabotaged every meaningful relationship that you had. That is your fault. If after those bad results, you educated yourself about finances, stop being a baby making machine and got some counseling and then made different choices in the future. Congratulations, you have a growth mindset and success is soon coming for you. So look, today boys and men have lived in a world that tells them that their natural tendencies like aggression, competition, dominance, and protection along with accountability are all signs of racism or misogyny or downright toxic. That means all of us nowadays really need to learn how to be real men. In the past, it was our grandfathers and fathers and uncles and best friends and sports coaches, pastors, and yes, even educators all directly contributed to having boys grow into men. For the most part, <laughs> those days are gone. So gentlemen, we need to seek in-person role models, then read books, and yes, even watch videos that help you increase your manly status. But whatever you do, you need to take positive action and move your journey forward in life. So listen, men, if you do not lead, women will assert their dominance. And if you've not heard this before, men should lead. You should lead your family, you should lead your kids, and you should be a leader amongst the community that you live in. That is what it means to be a man, leading. But look, gentlemen, make no mistake, you owe provision and protection and guidance to your children if you make them. You should meet this responsibility without the government intervention. As your children become adult, they will need your advice but you must let them make their own choices. If you live in a place, you should always try to better your position and those under your charge. If you cannot or will not take a course, direct action into the community, like activism or holding an office, at least you will be doing the thing that'll help you enjoy the decline as the community goes the way it goes. Accepting responsibility in your life is the surest path for long-term fulfillment and achievement. When you cut the BS and grab the bull by its horn and you'll steer your life, it gets, it's hard to do that. And we can't deny that. But I can tell you, you'll be much better off by accepting responsibility and having the ability to change the world to make it better. For most of our experiences, we are incentivized and often encouraged as men to take the low road. But when a man accepts responsibility, he equips himself with a mindset for growth and achievement. And y'all, this is the process of becoming men legendary. Gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Please like this video and I will see you next time.